Hello guys and gals, this is Z Shark. Yes, I know I've changed the channel name and um this is something different, but uh and also this is some terrible webcam quality, but I will address that stuff in a later video. But for now I want to get into why I think the NFL switching to a 17 game season is pretty bad. Um Well, for one thing, um as a longtime viewer of the NFL, I may be only 20 going on, on the 21 next month, but um, after watching the NFL for 10 years, uh, the first thing that comes to mind is 16 games for 32 teams is perfect symmetry, to be honest. Um, it just doesn't feel right with 32 teams playing 17 games. I mean, 16 plus 16 equals 32, and that is already pretty perfect in itself. 17 plus 17 does not equal 32. No, in fact, I believe it equals 34. And unless the NFL is expanding with two more teams and they're realigning the divisions, I don't see a point in why they want to have a 17-game season. Um, a second point of mine is the fact that a lot of players might get injured. Um... We saw it last season with uh, Saquon Barkley and Dak Prescott. Uh, an extra game might mean an extra injury or two for these NFL teams. And while they did expand the roster spots, I believe from 53 to 55 from that new collective bargaining agreement, um, you genuinely don't want your stars getting injured. And I can see why they added that extra 17th game for the season in terms of removing uh, two preseason games and introducing the seventh seed into the NFL postseason. I genuinely do not like for a player to get injured because of an extra possibly meaningless game. And... Another point I want to bring into is that they did not add an extra bye week. Now, 17 game seasons since 1978. Um, I believe in the mid 90s, they had an extra bye week. They were experimenting with that. I guess the experiment faltered and they only allowed one bye week for who knows how long. But in my opinion, if you're going to add an extra game, you might as well add an extra bye week for these teams. So that way players can be able to get well rested and coaches can be able to game plan. I mean, we've already seen this with Thursday Night Football where coaches and players are struggling to prepare because after a Sunday game, you've basically only got very few days left to prepare if you're playing Thursday night. So unless they're going to add an extra bye week sometime in the future, I do not see 17 games exactly being a good forte, to be honest. Now, another thing I want to get into is, uh, while this is a pretty significant change for in the schedule for the first time since 1978, as I did bring up earlier, uh, who's to say that a 17th game is exactly going to add more viewership? I mean... It might, but we're also in the middle of a pandemic. The cap just went down, and teams are, except the Patriots, obviously, um, but teams are already struggling with money, and I can see why a 17th game is going to be able to improve that. But And this pandemic, I feel like, is almost over, but... I just have this feeling that the 17th game that the NFL is adding is not exactly going to offer any good graces when it comes to television viewership or sponsors or players in general. I mean, the NFL and PA is already not exactly in good terms of power with ownership. I, I just have this feeling that 17 games is not going to work with the NFL. Either they should go back to 16, 
where they should add that extra bye week. Uh, that's all I have to say on that matter. As a longtime NFL fan, as a person who's analyzed pro football content for years, I genuinely feel like this is going to be rough for the NFL. And that's my opinion on the matter.